Welcome to Kasagi. I'm here at the Kasagi, well JR Kasagi Railway Station. I've just arrived here by train. Spent the last 10 minutes unpacking and reassembling my bike. Getting myself all ready for what I hope will be another great day cycling. The plan is a circuit trip today. Starting and beginning, oh, and beginning and finishing here at the station. Not a bad sort of a day. Not cold. I dare say that will change. But it's calm. Alright, just give you a brief rundown where I my plan is leaving here I cross the Kasagi or Hashi Bridge. That's the Kizagawa River down there. Pass through the tunnel in the distance. And then take a, a mountain lane goes up those hills in the distance. Once at the top, I connect with the, the Kunigawa Rindo Road, which, if my information serves me right, is part of the Tokaido Road. From there, I go through the villages of Dozembo and Nodono before heading further inland towards the Fuda Notaki waterfalls. And then from there I will take a, a forest track that brings me out into the village of Shigaraki Cho Taroa where I will reconnect the Makuni Gorindal Road again. From there I descend down into the Shimagahara village on my return journey back to here along the Kizagawa River. My estimated distance is about 50 kilometres. During the course of my trip, I will check out a couple of temples and shrines along the way, as well as some Jizo statue and some Sekibutsu. So, without further ado, I'm going to start getting on the, the road. It's taken me two hours to get to here, so yeah, I need to make a move. Okay, well, about an hour later and seven kilometres further up the road I've emerged from the uh, mountain lane in the forest to a very different environment. A bit icy. I'm on the outskirts of the Tozembo town. I'm just going to take a slight detour from my plans. Is See in the foreground here this red bridge. There is on it. A track takes you up to quite an impressive temple in Inari Jinja. Oh, actually it wasn't too bad getting up that hill. It's the fourth time I've ascended, well, travelled that road. First time on bike, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Of that lovely sound. The area is known as Kurumadani, but I'm not quite sure what the name of the temple is. Whether the temple is Kurudani Ji, I'm not sure. But it's quite an impressive complex. Look at these mini mountains. I knew more about the different buildings of the temple. I'd be able to help you out more. Quite impressive. Isn't Yeah. Lots of 
of lovely snow around looking over towards Nara but there's one object here that causes me some fascination look at this fella I'd love to meet someone to and have them explain to me the relevance of this very fine statue away in the corner of the grounds here this is this Gennady ginger that sort of avenue of vermilion coloured tories Here's the sound effects. Well, without further ado, I'm going to move on because it's quite cold. Welcome to Dozembo town, or more precisely the village of Dozembo. I tell you, she's cold as the hogs of hell up here. Not that high, I think I'm only about 500 metres above sea level, but I love passing through little villages like this. You know, and these lovely houses. This building up here on the right is actually accommodation. Here's a Tory to which I won't go up because it'd be pretty difficult. So you can actually stay here as accommodation. I think it might be sort of a hostel type. Oh, accommodation. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what, the electricity bills up here would be pretty enormous, but this is tea growing country. Oh, tea as far as the eyes can see. As far as the eyes can see. I say ice because I'm just about to enter into it so I'm going to have to just sort of try and bring my bike to a halt here. I don't slip off. Oh, no traction. Look at that. Hey. Okay, here's my road here. Hey, so why am I dressed like this? Very simple reason. <laughs> it's oh, it's bloody cold. Okay, I've just come out of there, which is the Makuni Goa Rindol Road, or part of the Taikato Trail. I'm here at the village in the Dono, and we're about to branch off this road and come through here towards Fudanotaki Waterfalls. Oh, lovely snow, quite hazardous, I had to sort of stay in the snowy area, not the ice, otherwise I would have, I would have crashed. I'm 
don't know what it's going to be like through the wrap, but one's just got to be careful. Although, in some cases, you don't see it. What we call back home is black ice. Clear as a bell. It's not until you get on it, you start going in all directions. This is rice growing country. It's not at present though, I think they're another few months away before they start planting out. Oh, a bit of stop here and uh, put this away because I need to put my gloves back on. Okay. Oh, that was hairy. <laughs> Quite thick ice, but not meant to traffic through here, which means the, the ice hasn't been compacted into, or snow hasn't been compacted into ice. I'm about to leave the nice sealed road and start heading into the bush about here. There's not much of this, I'd say once we get in further into the bush, there'll be less snow around. That's my theory, anyway. Oh. Interesting little complex, a little temple, little places. Yeah. Situation like this, you need better footwear because my feet's beginning to get wet. Oh, and it's lovely. Dangerous, though. Oh, that was a bit hairy. Come down that hill. No traction. Nothing. So she was basically a lesson in skiing. <laughs> Got down. If you're coming through here, this is a nice little wee picnic area. I'd say you could even put your tent up here somewhere. Be quite nice in summer. Across that bridge, hopefully getting out of the snow. It's not cold, cold, although it probably wouldn't be zero degrees. But the snow is just treacherous. Well, now that was hairy. That was quite a, a downhill <laughs> snow. Well, I'm on the outskirts of the village of Shigaraki Chotakao. And I've come across my first jizo. It looks like a rocky jizo carving with six. Quite an impressive one. Take a close up look at the small statues here. There we go. First one of the day. And I'm about to enter civilization. <laughs> I'm gonna stop for a banana somewhere, so I think there's a shrine up here I'm gonna catch. Well I've arrived at the village of Shigaraki Cho Takao. Or Takao for short. Shigaraki chose further down the valley. A lot of snow. I don't know whether I could live in an environment like this. <laughs> I mean, some parts of the year she'd be pretty isolated. Still not cold though, although I suppose biking I'm keeping myself warm. There. Okay, well, on to my next destination. I'm about to link up with the Makuni Dow Rokashi Road. That's the one I was on earlier. Let's change gear here. There's supposed to be a shrine up the hill there somewhere with some 
Seki Butsu in it, according to some photographs I've seen, but I couldn't find it. Oh, look at that eyes. Hang on my face. Well, I'm at the junction. Well, I've reached the Makuni Goi Rindal Road again. I'm at the junction with the road from Takao, which is through there. I was on the, this road a bit earlier. Uh, about two kilometres down there is the township of Nadono, where I stopped before heading inland to the Fudo Notaki waterfalls. Uh, this road here is going to eventually take me to down into the township of Shimagahara and then back to Kasagi. Um, I believe there's some great views through here, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to a place to stop and have something to eat. It's been a while. Perfect timing and the perfect place to stop for a lunch break. Been on the road for about three hours now. But the view. Don't you just love the outdoors? The view, just, oh, panoramic. Okay, let me show you where we are. Down there is the village of Tsukigasaguchi. If I can zoom in, you might just see the big building down there. The railway station is near there. Now in the coming hours, <laughs> I go past, I'll go through that area. And around the back of the village through there. In the distance is a lake, there's a very large dam up there. You can actually see the dam from here. I think that's the Yamasha or dam. Okay. Down here, I just get my pad is the village of Shimagahara. This is where this road that I'm on now will come out. Okay. Just spot a green bridge down there. And then I make my way around, around the back. I'm trying to get a, a bearing on where I am. Over the back here would be Nara City. Kasagi's further on around the right amongst the trees. I'm going to have to place this on my must return list, preferably in not so colder temperatures. Look at the snow on the mountains. I think I'm on the border between three prefectures Kyoto Prefecture, where I'm standing on, Mie Prefecture where I'm looking at over there and over the back here would be Shiga Prefecture so yeah okay I'm gonna finish this off here have something to eat well the Kizugawa River now I'm at the village of Shimagahara way up there the road that I've just descended from. You can actually see it here, you may not be able to pick it out on the video, but you could see the bridge from down there. Quite a dangerous descent really because my because of the chill factor. I go a bit of wind blowing and your hands are frozen solid. <laughs> but yeah, I must be about 10 or 15 kilometers from from Kasagi. Lovely little villages. Right, without further ado, I'm going to move on. Keep warm. Hey, this is another one for the abandoned Japan folder. 
I came through here a couple of weeks ago on the bike ride and about 100 metres through there I came across some abandoned buildings but as I pass through here at the corner of my eye I happen to spot these so I'm just going to go and take a little wee squiz Put on all fours and crawl under here. This must have been quite a grand house in its day. Just going to have a run through here, keeping an eye out for a shot one being poked out through the wall. Nope. Up from the inside. There was a water supply here. Mm, look at the bags of polystyrene trays. Maybe a factory of some sort. Hey. See you need eyes, but I don't plan to go in and cross the floorboards. Or we might be in there waiting for me. So look at this fella. This is probably every moment the kids left. They had lived over there. Okay, so the left in a hurry, they Gas bottle still there. They're pretty knackered though. Oh hell. What do we look at the um, pump? Don't see many of those around these days. Ooh, washing machine. They did leave in a hurry. Okay. Right. Clay and straw. Ooh. Well, outside toilet, if you please. Well, we are. Oh, shit. Ooh, a couple of nice walking sticks. Just wander up the track a little bit and get a, an overall view. Yeah. Good storm through here, and that'll go over. And if you look at the building over there, she's a, on a bit of a lean. Oh well, I'm probably about another eight or so kilometres from Kasag in the end of this particular trip. So, got a bit of a chill as I came down that hill, so I'm trying to keep myself warm. Oh. Any water? Yeah. This could be another one of those ideal programs for that before and after show, you know? <laughs> yeah. Probably a thriving little village in its day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's move on before I get too relaxed. Beautiful things about Beautiful Japan.
Thank you. Village of Okawara, midway between Tsukigasaguchi and Kasagi. I can't sort of express how I feel when you some experience something like that. Well, in the last sort of kilometre or two before Kasagi, and I stopped at this Jizo. There's many of these through the street because what I, I'm actually on the Tokaido Road, so this track's been here for oh, five, six hundred years. So you'll find these all along where the people that were traveling along here would stop and pray. There's something quite interesting here that I spotted the last time I came past, and that's this little wooden carving of Buddha. Quite interesting. There's another one there without a head on. Lovely, eh? Oh, this is my kind of environment. <laughs> Love it. And there it is, Kasagi Ohashi. My start finish point. Kizagawa River in the foreground. About 600 years ago people walked along this river on their way to Edo, modern day Tokyo, or to Naniwa, modern day Osaka. Most of the trip today has been along this Taikoro Road. But I'm wondering whether they would had thought back then that 600 years time their track would look like this and there would be a railway line running alongside it. <laughs> it's, yeah, infrastructure is important to Japan but I think so is history in protecting it. About another kilometre to go and I'm knackered! Yeah. Wow, well, look at that, eh? One to my clock, 51 kilometers in five hours. Oh, great ride. I'm just going to uh, bike through the village of Kasagi to finish it. So, where are we lying up there? It's a little place today. What a quaint little village this. I quite like coming here. There's, well, any little village like this is, is great really. Okay, as the road sign says, if I go straight ahead it goes to Yagyu. What a quaint another wee town with some historical significance. I'm going down here. Uh, some days this place is packed, especially cherry blossom here on time. Because there's some many trees and the, the camping ground down below. People just go and sit down there and party their heads off. Hey, look at that. Sagi Onsen here, which is well worth. 
go today. Get back into these grubby clothing. I'm just going to show you the train as she crosses the bridge. We've got one hour. That train. So I have one hour to fill in time here, which means I might find a nice little cafe and a cup of coffee. Plenty of places to buy booze from around here. <laughs> Down there, you turn off and you go to the Guns and G Temple. Once we drive through there and you can go on through to Kizu, come off, even through to Nara. Uh, this is my destination, the end of my trip for the day. Okay, I don't. Oh, oh. well. Wow. The end of a great day. I'm naked, I tell you. I'm looking forward to a couple of beers when I get home. I got another hour to wait for my next train. So I've still got a few bread rolls and some bananas to eat up. Something to drink. I might even go and buy myself a can of chuhai. Been a great ride. I hope you enjoy watching the video as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Oh, I'm naked. Bit of a scare coming down that hill there because I got a real chill. It's still a bit cold actually. Fingers. Ooh, they were cold. Okay. Say another. <laughs>